Sunrises Hyderabad will look at the middle order and say, what do we do over here? I mean, that middle order at the moment is just not performing. They dropped Mohamed Nabi, got in Kane Williamson, which they had to, even though Mohamed Nabi has been performing excellently. They had to get Kane Williamson in to strengthen that middle order. But unfortunately, that didn't work. And again, a huge uh, middle order collapse. Again, you've got to look at, uh, you know, Johnny Besto and David Warner and the fact that these two uh, have been delivering for, for Sunrisers Hyderabad, but the rest of the team just hasn't. I mean, again, uh, pretty much like the case with Royal Challengers Bangalore, at the moment, the Sunrisers Hyderabad, depending on two batsmen, David Warner, Johnny Besto, Royal Challengers Bangalore depend on two batsmen. Virat Kohli, A.B. de Villiers. And I think that's the problem. I think uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad have a fantastic bowling unit, but they're batting. They need to strengthen the batting. Someone like Manish Pandey uh, just seems so out of touch. Uh, and a lot was expected of him, but he just seems such a confidence player and his confidence seems to be low at the moment. Uh, Ricky, he didn't play this game. Ricky Bui came in, didn't do much. So look, at the moment, nothing going right as far as the middle order is concerned for Sunrisers Hyderabad. And that is a big, big concern. Well, I've got to say, Kimo Paul was very, very impressive. Uh, three for 17 in his four overs. Again, West Indies, this new generation of West Indian players, uh, just so, so full of talent. You've got Kimo Paul, you've got Alzari Joseph, uh, you know, two bowlers doing, doing really, really well. So, look, uh, good signs for West Indies cricket. Finally, they've got a batch of youngsters who are really coming and impressing one and all in the cricketing world. And uh, hopefully, they'll produce the goods for West Indies. So look, uh, good signs for West Indies cricket and that can only mean good things for, for the world of cricket in general because you want all the teams in the world to be strong, competitive and, and generate interest around the world. Ricky Ponting and Saurav Ganguly will have an eye on that middle order and say, listen guys, uh, they'll have a chat with that middle order and say, look, from the position that we were in, we should have got about 170 to be really competitive on this pitch. We won the game. Uh, so yes, let's celebrate that. Let's 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 you know uh, be happy about that. But let's not overlook the fact that we should have done better because that's what good teams do. That's what champion teams do. They even when they win, they look at you know areas where they can improve. And this is definitely an area that Delhi Capitals will look at improving. That middle order when you know in a good position, you know have someone down there who's like your finisher explodes towards the end of the innings and takes that team to that 170, 180, 190 marks. <laughs>